Hi, good day. In this tutorial, we shall be solving this problem before us. The, the question says, find the resultant of the system of vectors. So these are forces. How do we find the resultant? How do we find the sum? To do that, we shall resolve this, this vector, which is 2 of 2 newton vertically and horizontally. So let us label this P. We want to resolve, we want to find the horizontal component of this vector and as well find the vertical component. Let us call this uh, Q. To find the uh, horizontal component, we shall employ this trig uh, identity. So, Katoa. This is so ka toa. This means the sine of an angle is the opposite upon the hypotenuse. The cos of an angle is the adjacent upon the hypotenuse. And the tan of an angle is the opposite upon the adjacent. So to uh, resolve this, horizontally so let us look at this angle so this makes angle 90 degrees so looking at this angle this becomes the opposite the angle facing this 90 degrees angle 90 degrees is the hypotenuse so we can say sine 45 degrees equals this is opposite upon hypotenuse the hypotenuse is 2 root 2 so that p is 2 root 2 sine what 45 and sine 45 degrees is root 2 upon 2 so this can cancel root 2 by root 2 if you multiply root 2 with root 2 you have a uh, root 4 and this is what this is a uh, 2 so we have found the uh, the horizontal component of this force and it gave us what 2 newton this gave us what 2 newton now let us find the vertical component of this force okay so to find the vertical component of this force now so we say uh, this is adjacent and this is hypotenuse so we say cross 45 degrees equals adjacent is a uh, Q upon hypotenuse is 2 root 2. So we have that Q equals 2 root 2 cos what? 45 uh, degrees. So notice that cos 45 degrees, once you press it in your calculator, it is the same as what? Sine 45. So you have root 2 upon 2 times this is 2 root 2 times root 2 upon what 2 this cancels we have a uh, 2 so we have resolved this vector here uh, vertically and what horizontally so it is now looking like this we have this this is y this is newton this is the positive x axis we have for newton and we have found another y here we found it as uh, 2 newton and we have found another x okay of course this is same as this we have it as a uh, 2 newton now how do we find the effective uh, how do we find some the vertical component and sum the uh, horizontal component of the vectors. So look at this. This is this is. Let's take this as positive. This is positive x axis, and take this as a negative. So the summation of this, of course, vectors acting in different directions. You subtract. So you have four. Of course, we are talking about resultant, so actually you are adding, but we are adding 
in an opposite uh, direction so this gives you two similarly once we do it for the vertical component of the force we have it as this of course we have it as six plus minus two and we have what four so our diagram will now look like so we have this of course this is straight line we have it as this now becomes four newton and this becomes uh, two newton and this is inclined at angle 90 degrees so we can use the pythagoras uh, rule to find the resultant we can use the pythagoras rule to find the resultant this side is same as this side so and this is 90 degrees so this is um four newton so this becomes the resultant okay so this is the effective component of the vector or the force in this case along the y axis and this is along the x axis we have that r square equals 4 square plus 2 square so r will be will be square root of 4 square plus what 2 square and 4 square is uh, 16 2 square is what 4 this becomes square root of uh, 20 and of course we know that this is just like saying root 4 times what root 5 and root 4 is 2 so we can have it 2 root uh, 5 newton so the resultant of this force is 2 uh, root 5 newton so the question can as well ask you to find the direction the direction of the vector so you can solve this and put the answer in the comment section if you have actually enjoyed this video do well to give it a like subscribe for more updates like this do have a nice day ahead thank you